Welcome to the PowerPoint 2016 module on how to insert, format, and manage your smart art graphics with inside of PowerPoint. Now, before we start showing you how to insert and format, the file that you can open related to this training is smartart.pptx. Now, before we begin, the first thing you need to understand is what is a smart art graphic and why do we use it? So the first thing you'll find is to be able to insert one. I'm just going to insert a blank slide at the top of my presentation. I've got a particular design template on this one. And I go to insert. You will see that there is a button in the illustrations group called Smart Art. And the little pop-up that basically tells us a little bit more about it says that insert a Smart Art graphic to visually communicate information. Smart art graphics range from graphical lists and process diagrams to more complex graphics such as Venn diagrams and organization charts. Now what I've done is inside the presentation I've actually listed the different types of smart art graphics so we can go through them. The first type is a list type of smart art. So this basically just graphically shows you information. Remember, smart arts are not linked to Excel spreadsheets or actual charts. They are just there to show the information in a more visually stimulating format. So it's not related to any particular spreadsheet or pivot table. But it's there to save us time of having to go and physically draw in graphics and shapes to create graphical type of visualizations. So the first type of smart art is what we call a list. So in this example, we've got an example of an executive summary where we have the concept, the opportunity, and the potential. And then we want a little bit of information based on each area that we've put in. So I've put there that this graphic is good for two or three stages of information. It makes the information easy to read, the headings are in color, and the bullet points have similar text. So it's really simple, easy, and effective. The next thing we look at is list type graphics. List types are typically for items that you want to group but don't have a step-by-step -step process, which is exactly the same as the executive summary that we've just done. The next type of list that you can have is exactly the same thing, but except now we work with pictures. So it's exactly the same as the executive summary did, except instead of using buttons, we can actually put pictures, which make it more visually effective for our audience. So in this case, I've got the training staff in the company. We've got Nancy, Ian, and Peter with their job titles. So that's a really nice example of a list using picture formats. The next thing we're going to look at is process type graphics. So these are allow you to explain in a visual format the processes in a project or in your company to show a directional flow. You might want to use standard flow chart shades to, to represent different types of the steps. So over here we start with handling a customer request, then goes to access the feasibility, the financial impact, qualify the request, the solution, and negotiate the bid. So this is a process of how we submit plans to customers. The next part of our smart art is the processes with numbered steps. So in this case, you would have specific numbers that you would need to start at, so almost like a numbered list compared to a bulleted list. So the arrows keep the timeline idea and hold a test that describes each phase. So in this case, we've got development milestones, we've got design, code, and test. It still is a process, but with numbered steps. The next thing we look at is what we call a cycle type of diagram. So it's unlike the process where we start at number one and we end at number five, the cycle diagram continues and continues. So basically wash, rinse, and repeat. In this particular one, we've used the example of performance management, where the first thing we do with our staff is we, clear, we set clear goals, then we come up with effective strategies, we do progress reports and checks, we do a reality check, and then we look at our results and analysis. And once that's done, we start the whole process all over again. So that's a good example of our cycle diagrams. 
One of the very popular ones in Smart Art is in Hierarchy Chart, which is an organization chart where we've got different people in the company and then we use an organization chart to show at which level they are in the company in terms of their position. Another type of hierarchy that we've got inside of Smart Art is what we call Family of Products. And it's basically the same kind of process, except you can use it showing branches of a family of different criteria. So it all depends on what you're trying to show within your company. Whereas the organizational chart actually points to who reports to who with inside of the organization. So what we're going to do is create our own examples of some of these charts. And the first that one that we're going to try to create is our process type graphics. So if you click on slide six, let's create a new slide inside there. So we'll say new slide. And what I'd like you to choose is a blank white slide. So from here, we're going to create a process type graphic. And you can use the same process as this, or you can come up with your own. So we're going to go insert, click on the smart art button. And then on the left hand side, you're going to click on the process. From there, you can choose any process that you would like to create. These particular ones give you a basic process where you can title each block. If you need to give a little bit more information for each title, then you might want to choose something like this where you can give more information. So I'm just going to choose a basic process. So my first process, for example, creating a training video is to conduct the research. The second part of my process would be to create my worksheets. And the last part of my process would be to record my video. So this gives you an idea and you can use the little moving button to move your smart art around. If you've clicked off of it, you will not be able to format it. But once you click on the smart art, you will notice there's two new menus that appear at the top of your screen, design and format. And this gives you all the information that you need to be able to format the smart art as a whole, as well as individual items of your smart art. So if we look at some of the options on design, you can choose to add a shape. So for example, let's say I've decided that between research and create worksheets, I've missed a step. So instead of moving my shapes around manually, I can just say add shape and it'll add a new shape to my smart art diagram. And in this case, I'm just going to call it step two. You can choose to promote, demote and right to left your diagrams, depending on what you're doing. You can also choose to change the colors. So let's go and choose a new set of colors as well as effects on the particular smart art. You can make it 3D or beveled or whatever it is that'll make more impact for your audience. And then I'm just going to make it a bit bigger. So that's an example of my process diagram. Once you've completed that, let's now go and have a look at creating a cycle diagram. So again, I'm going to go to the cycle slide, which is slide nine, and I'm going to create a new blank slide. I'm going to go to the insert, smart art, and I'm going to choose the cycle option. And from here, you can choose any of these cycle diagrams and click OK. Exactly the same as your process diagram, you can list it. So I'll just call it one, two, three, and so on and so forth. And again, you can change the colors. If you've skipped a step or missed a step, you can move things around. The promoting and demoting is quite nice. For example, I want to take step five and demote it. Then it'll obviously give me a sub point under my existing points. And I'm just going to change it to better looking colors. So that is your cycle diagram. 
You can now go and play around and see which diagrams would be more relevant to use within your company and which are there that will give more of an impact to the type of presentations you present to your audience.